A word of caution, Lord Sovu. If my time investigating Darth Nal's work has taught me anything, she did not like visitors. I do not fear the dead. I knew the moment you asked me here, you finally understood your limitations. It is no secret. Your role in the hand of the Empire should have gone to me. You are clever, I'll grant you that, but weak. We were never truly equals. Your expertise does have its uses, however. Get on with it. As you wish. Do you know what this is? No, of course you don't. The mouse shows some teeth. Amusing. But look at this. You've saved me so much time, Rivix. Don't do anything foolish. You're right, Sovu. We are not equals. But you do have your uses. Hmm. Priority message for Darth Knox. I found something very interesting. I'll kill you. I don't fear the dead, either. Put it down. Of course. Tau Adair, isn't it? I'm not here to talk. What a shame. Would you look at that? Perfect timing. Ah, oh, here we go. I've only just arrived, and you're already here to welcome me. Your hospitality is awe-inspiring. 
You found something belonging to Darth Null. I believe so. As for what it is, that is still a mystery. I have a theory, but that is all it is. A theory. I brought it to you in the hope that you could confirm it. Colonel Gola and Talos Drelik have been hard at work, combing through everything we've found, using the data to pinpoint other locations that may have been under Darth Null's control. But their expertise only reaches so far. You, however, have specialists and resources at your disposal that could identify what we've found. I do know a thing or two about ancient Sith, but for this I would prefer to have Sana Ray's opinion. Unfortunately, she hasn't yet returned from her assignment. There must be someone else. What about your fascinating hut scientist, Dr. Ogarub? He must have something in his bag of tricks that can tell us anything about this artifact. You make an excellent point. We'll go now and see what he has to say. Lead the way. I am eager to learn what secrets this relic may be hiding. Not now, Sahar. Just try. I know you have it in you. That's not what your precious Jedi said. It's what I'm saying. Enough! I found my way without your sorcery. Had to cut my slave collar with this. She gave me a choice. Die or fight back. I fought and I excelled, Sahar. The day I became a Mandalorian, I knew I found my home. I hoped you would find success. You always had fire. I had little choice. Some earn what they have. Some are given everything. And some lose it all. You dare speak to me about suffering? Even the best armor has flaws. Spaces between plates of Beskar steel where blood can be drawn. The events of Runok have shown me our flaws. I planned for Shevisla to find us. She did. I challenged her and was nearly defeated. An outcome that was not expected. How could my plans so miss the mark? I asked myself. I looked and looked and finally found my answer. Someone did not honor their agreements. Someone valued credits over their own life. Basque's son used one of his pretty machines to make sure I didn't win the duel. He died like a coward. Because of him, we lost Runok. Because of me, we gained a great deal more. Sahar, can you come up here? This one brought me something taken from the clutches of Darth Malgus. Something so powerful both the Sith and the Jedi race across the galaxy to claim it. With Sahar's help, we can unlock its secrets. I told you, Hedda. We shouldn't do this. It's not safe. You're right. It's never safe to change a galaxy. Never easy to fight corruption and hypocrisy. But your brother said you would face anything to restore balance.
Each of you will gather the resources needed to make my vision a reality. You will have your assignments, but none will know the whole plan except myself and Sahar. At long last, we will take back what is ours! I meant to say before, I ran into your old friend when I found Null's relic, Tau Adair. She put up quite a fight. She tries so fiercely to hide her contempt, yet she fails spectacularly. You should have ended her. But I will relish the opportunity to finish what I started on Corellia. I have no doubt you'll get the chance. Eventually. I'm certain the Jedi will not rest until she has rescued the wayward Padawan. Over here! I do believe I've found something. Uh, but first, you must tell me more about this containment device you encountered. Uh, what did it look like? How did it work? The intricacies of the device were fascinating. I would be more than happy to go over the details. I want to hear more about what you've uncovered. I sense something violent about this relic. The longer it's in my presence, the feeling grows stronger. Your perception is spot on, as usual. From the results, I can say with certainty that what you found is the remnant of a lightsaber. But there is more to the story. What else did you find? A very interesting clue. My equipment also found microscopic fragments of the lightsaber's power source. By all indications, the crystal used to construct the weapon originated in the Adika system. That is curious. Before recent decades, Sith did not typically use Adegan crystals. They were favored by Jedi in Darth Null's lifetime, if she lived as long ago as we hypothesize. So why did Darth Null have a lightsaber that was built like a Jedi's? A very pertinent question. Hmm. The answer may be more apparent than we think. We know Darth Null created the Children of the Emperor. Perhaps she used the crystals in her method of binding Jedi prey to her master. All we have are pieces of a broken lightsaber. I don't think we should jump to all these conclusions. We may not have reached a conclusion, but I do believe we are finally heading toward one. This might be the time to speak to Malgus again. You can ask about the interesting discoveries we've made here today. I can't shake the feeling that Malgus doesn't know Darth Null as well as he thinks he does. It's time I found out for sure. I do not envy you having to attempt any sort of communication with that ill-tempered brute. If we're finished here, I have places to be. Dr. Ogorob's findings provide crucial insight into what Malgus was planning. Focusing on Darth Null's work that affected minds was an important clue. But the fact Null used both Sith and Jedi techniques was completely unexpected. Though I am at a loss as to why Malgus would want anything to do with someone who had ties to the Jedi. And let's not forget Darth Null's holocron falling into the hands of Heta Kol. You never slow down, do you? This coming from you. I've seen you charge into action more times than I can count. Though truthfully, you are annoyingly adept at it. But, back to business. What we learned about Darth Null's Jedi influence does give us something to go on. Though admittedly not much. 
Looks like we have a visitor. Tell these droids to get out of my way. I need to speak to Malgus. They answer only to the Empress and cannot be overridden, Shay. Some higher up is all sweaty about my past contracts with Malgus. They've got no understanding of how those things work. It's not like Malgus and I are pals. I was hired to do a job, and I did it. Perhaps, but permission to interrogate the prisoner is restricted to a select few. I'm going to find out if he's working with Hedda, with or without permission. That's why I'm here. We all need to know more about this plan. Don't you get it? With the Holocron, Hedda is part of that plan, willing or not. You weren't interested in the Holocron when we ran into Sahar. I wasn't. But I won't let Hedda use whatever's on there to hurt my people. Things have changed between us since Runic. But that doesn't matter right now. So, what's it gonna be? We'll work together on this. Smart move. This does not solve the issue those droids have with Shay. Then put me on comms. Comms? To listen in? More than that, Shay can give advice during my questioning. Malgus had a few bad habits when I worked with him. I'm betting they're still there. If you listen to me, we can trip him up. It's risky, but we don't have a lot of options. At least we'll be in full control. If anything seems wrong, we can shut it down. The moment you cease being useful, you're cut off. Is that clear? She doesn't move from this spot. Bottom line, threats are useless against Malgus. He fears nothing. You keep talking about putting an end to what he wants, and we'll get nowhere. Make him think you understand. That's the key to getting anything out of him. If you explain to me what you hope to accomplish, maybe I can help you. Maybe there's another way to finish what you started. A way that others will accept. Few minds can comprehend my vision. There are none like you in the galaxy. But you are alone. That is a strength. Attachment becomes weakness. Good. He's talking. Risk a question. I was surprised to learn that Hesse Cole was part of your plan. She wasn't. My designs are much greater than her petty civil war. The Mandalorians are fractured, a broken people. They struggle to decide who they are. An endless cycle of waste and fodder. Useless. Big talk from inside that cell. I can understand how someone would think the Mandalorians are unreliable. Watch it. But I haven't once regretted having them as allies. Not yet. Slippery Chakaris. Okay, maybe Hedda wasn't part of his plan, but something sure as hell changed. Do you still believe your plan will succeed without you? Is that why you let others carry the torch? Strength begets strength. All else will wither and fade, even you. You're right about one thing. I didn't get here by being weak, by letting others decide my fate. But you were wrong about the rest. Nothing will stop me. 
You are no different from anyone else. You will witness my reckoning. I will tear apart the corrupt systems that allow weakness to infect the galaxy. I will stop the rot. I will burn down all of their failing legacies and see who embraces the flame. More of his mystical Osik. What about the Holocron? Does Hedda have something she can use against my people? Who whispers in your ear? Your thoughts are plain to me, Mandalore the Avenger. Your rage consumes you. There was a battle, and your prey slipped through your fingers. Your people are divided, while Heta Cole gathers her army. You are right to come begging for answers. Heta will destroy you. Where is she? Dinila Hutun, answer me! looms over us all, a shadow of unchanging history. There are fools who believe they can outrun the shadow. Without a flame to chase it away, it will consume them. They are doomed to repeat the same failures. None who have stood by my side have understood this. The only one who could have is my enemy. A shame that you and I must remain that way. Nothing lasts forever. Greetings. I'm relieved you answered. I must make an unusual request. What's going on? Is everything alright? Yes. For the moment, I have been summoned by the three. What they had to say has left me... disquieted. Meet me at these coordinates on Vos and I will explain in greater detail. Who summoned you? Are you in any trouble? I am in no trouble. The three are leaders of Voss. There was a matter they wished to discuss. Some confusion they wanted clarified. I sent you to look into the origins of one of Darth Null's relics. I haven't heard any updates. What I found... It is best if I show you in person. I will await your arrival. We have enough mysteries to contend with without getting the Vos involved. They're not exactly known for being straightforward. Sana Ray sounded unlike herself. I do hope whatever she has to tell you isn't too troubling.
You have arrived. Good. I have been waiting to show you this. When we first uncovered the existence of Darth Null, I could not imagine that tracing the origins of one of her relics would lead here. When I traveled to the planet in wild space, I found the members of the Force Enclave that I had not been able to reach. They were... changed. By what they endured there, and by what we found, what you are about to see. Darth Null possessed a talent that was unique among her kind. Through the Force, she could connect her mind to another's. Darth Null could speak to someone's most hidden desires. Reach depths of their thoughts they could not reach themselves. Over great distances, she could mentally bond with anyone who could feel the Force. In those who did not recognize their own abilities, she awakened that realization. She was looked down upon for this by those who believed she shared power with the unworthy. She could find no favor among her kind. Darth Null took those who would follow her to an empty world in wild space, where they could do as they pleased, without judgment. Null taught her disciples how to forge mental bonds as she did. They called out to others and invited them to their sanctuary. But eventually, Null made a connection with someone she did not intend. A being of dark malevolence, the Sith Emperor. He hunted her down, using her own power against her. Before the Emperor could reach her followers, Null locked many of their secrets away in the ruins my team discovered. Null and the others fought back against their captors, but their fate was sealed. The Emperor dominated the minds of her disciples, bent them to his will, enslaved them. After that day, Null's followers became servants of the Emperor, and she became Darth Null. If the Emperor made her Darth Null after she was captured, who was she before? She was no one. At least, not after she was expelled from the Jedi Order. Relinquishing their greatest resources to the enemy, all in the name of some meaningless code. Not much has changed for the Jedi. I do not have much to say about how the Jedi conduct themselves. Voss also live by rules that many outsiders consider inflexible. The account of Darth Null's removal from the Jedi is told from her own perspective. We do not know much about what transpired before that, other than what she was called. Master Renaya. We've been chasing a Sith inventor, but she had a whole other life before that. What if that's where we find the way to stop Malgus's plans? Then we will find it. Malgus could not keep this knowledge from you. We can find other secrets. All that you found about Darth Null. Why did I have to come to Voss to hear it? After I heeded the Three's request to return to Voss, I heard whisperings. Rumors of a vision that caused great concern among the mystics. The Three forbade them to speak about what was seen. A revelation centered on Darth Malgus. You brought me here to find out more about the vision. I brought you here to try. The three know well the value you would place on hearing the details of this vision. But they would never share them with an outsider, even one of your status, unless you gave them a reason to. I saved this planet from the brink of total destruction. Isn't that enough? For some, yes. But we must sway those who believe you brought Valen's attack upon Voss. From the damage she caused, there may be a way. Despite our best efforts, some of our most sacred temples have yet to be rebuilt in the years since Valen's assault. 
The shrine of contemplation is too deep within Gormak lands. The work is slow, even with aid from the few Gormak who have chosen to continue their alliance with the Voss. The three are overseeing progress at the Shrine of Contemplation now. If you were to approach them and offer your assistance, perhaps you will change their minds about the vision. You have a reputation of persistence and tenacity. They will not turn you away so easily. I will do anything I can to stop Malgus. If helping rebuild will get the three to share information, it's a small price to pay. Here are the coordinates for the Shrine of Contemplation. I will send a message ahead to the commandos there to expect your arrival. Greetings. I am Maiton Jaw. This is Kodum. Sonore sent word that you would be joining us. You keep the company of... strange associates. I wonder, is it a testament to your character? It is irrelevant to the problem at hand. Together, we, the Shrine Restoration Initiative, have rebuilt much of the damage inflicted during the Eternal Empire's attack. Many shrines in the vicinity of Voska are fully restored. We understand that you hope for an audience with the three. They are here but wholly consumed with seeing us expedite our work on the Shrine of Contemplation. Should you help us arrive at our goal? Tran viemongi ho vabaka vihutroi kwa tu fulam. Vos ranfiti mi kukonua. Kwanta elapa uat buon neudan piokotova. They have lost control of the excavation droids. That is troubling. Wait. Before one enters the Shrine of Judgment, one must be cleansed. The workers perform this ritual before entering the Shrine. The outsider must do the same. The outsider will prevent any harm from coming to them. But unless the ritual is performed, desecration of the shrine is assured. I have faith that this simple task will not deter someone with your skill. I cannot force you to do the cleansing ritual, outsider, especially in this urgent situation. But should you choose to honor the customs of Voss, go to the Altar of Clarity, at the edge of the settlement. I will guide you through the ritual. is the Altar of Clarity. To begin the ritual, gather sacred incense from those crates and burn it. Good. Now you must wash the ash from your hands. Use the basin. Thank you, Outsider. You are free to enter the Shrine of Judgment.
Take a breath. Thank you, Outsider. Why is this happening? Here. 
Yeah, this will help.
go away that way, Chapaka. Come here, why hate your lay? Then for Futatan Achnan Chok country, they begor the Safun. Kumabaska, Pam keep the Kungam from one plow, the Chow Trocha. Get that dream me, try me, Von Turku, a toy. Ne so fun, dear Kunta Neva, de at Nan Nimatan. Kumabaska, Pam keep the Kungam from one plow, the Chow Trocha. We know what Ningo Tang move. We go worry that way, Chakaka. Come here, why hate your lay? Come here, go, white man, with Chotai Fai, Lion Gore, Sun, a lamb, say, oh. Kumabaska, Pam, King, the Kung Kang, Trong Wang Lao, the Chow Trong Cha. We go worry that way, Chakaka. Come here. Why hate your lay? Then for Futan Achnan Chok country, they begor the Safun. And in Trang Vindum, then give each moon and Kumudiwa. Kumiku, white man, with Chotai Fai, Lion Gor, Sun, a lamb, say, oh. Contrai to a vitram nam maya chongito. Ne so fun de konda neva de at nan nimatan. We go worry that way, Chakaka. Kongi, why hate your lay? Rider and dang korda de lavat. This will help. Check to Lura Muraksa, Sumatem Pua. Eyes on the floor. Do you hear me? We can't have you running around messing things up. What did I just say about not moving? Stay put. It's for your own good. Heads up, we got an intruder! Stand down now! I don't have time for this! 
got you. I don't have time for this. Tafai, <laughs> We're trying to repair the droids as quickly as we can, but their reprogramming has been extensive. There is a considerable amount of Gormak technology in this. How did the invaders come to possess this? Kodam, choose your words carefully. What do you know about this? Puavaska, Bam Kin Gungham Trongwan Lao, the Chao Troksha. We go away that way, Chakamran. Kongi, why, he triole. That is encouraging to hear, Kodam. You are correct. The next step is to learn all we can about them. Our researchers will study this device, and divine its purpose. Doing so will allow us to track the invaders, and avoid unnecessary destruction. 
con di guai ban lui e ciò dai fai lai ancor son nei lanceo nei soffondi con da nei va e a cagnani matan your actions have given us leverage in this fight but the harm done has been extensive our work in the shrine of contemplation was already behind Zerka's presence has thrown the reconstruction into chaos. Some damage can be repaired. But if we cannot complete the restoration, it will leave a lasting scar. Until the work has resumed, the three will not turn their attention to you. Your offer to help is a telling display of empathy for both the Gormak and the Voss. I want you to understand why all this is so critical to us. You were born with the ability to wield the Force. You were trained by another. You learned how to control it, how to use it. It is now a natural extension of who you are, just as it is a natural extension of my people. Now, imagine you are part of a society that works to hone your abilities to a greater purpose. Our shrines are built for this singular purpose. But now those shrines, built over generations, are destroyed, reduced to rubble by the Eternal Empire. In that moment, it was as if our eyes were shut. We were cut off from our purpose. We do not restore buildings. We ignite our purpose once more. Until we find that light again, everything else, the invaders, the truce, the relics is secondary. We need help in ways other than stopping the invaders. Offer your skills, and the three will notice. Do you understand? Puavaska, Bam Kigna Gungham Trongwang Lao, the Chao Troksha. The importance of what they do cannot be understated. Now. I must update the three on the situation. They will be most disappointed to learn how the invaders obtain the devices we are researching. Nei sofondi con da neiva e acnagnani matan. Entre neivum ramelei quam viec. Ein pac ginoto min tu, drogin trancan. Den voi vudagan acnan choc tontei, ve begor nei sofond. Outsider. You received my message. I apologize if I appear unwelcoming. I am not accustomed to seeking help from your kind. I am left with little choice. Two mystics and a team of Voss commandos are missing. They are in my charge. I must find them. I cannot do this alone. I requested assistance from the Shrine Restoration Initiative to help me search, but they do not respond. It is no surprise. There is still much damage to repair, even though the invaders have gone. But it is no excuse. Their lack of attention is the cause of this situation. Until they see this, more will be lost. The initiative is slow to act. The mystics asked to begin work on the Shrine of Silence. They were ignored. They did not wish to wait for approval and disappeared in the ruins of the Shrine. They have not returned. I have asked other commandos to help me find the missing. They refuse. They say the Shrine of Silence is cursed. I do not expect an outsider to understand the dangers we face. That is why you are best suited for this task. You are not affected by what we Voss fear. You can guide the missing Voss out of the Shrine of Silence. They are alive. I know it. They have to be. Go to the Shrine of Silence. You will see. Oh, 
should feel better now.
come closer. The light will not save you. No! Leave us! Filth! Famine! Come here. This will help. Not ours! Not his! Not ever! See who wanders into our sanctuary. A marvelous prize. Not a prize. Pray.
feel better now. You are nothing, good insider. And now you will perish. Spirit, obey me. Your struggling is pointless. From me. You're struggling with point spirit. Obey me. What have I done? From me. Spirit, obey me. from me. Spirit, obey me. Mother, I am sorry. My pets.
Ciao.
What happened? Where are they? Temsu and the others. Dead. They are all gone. Because of me. It is if I killed them myself. I should have stopped them. I should have followed them when they would not listen. I should not have waited to find them. So many chances to do the right thing. And I failed them all. Any lessons I learned from this are meaningless now. Tam Su. He was everything I did not expect in a son. Contemplative. Cautious. I wanted a fearless child. He could sense my disappointment. He followed the others into the Shrine of Silence to show me I was wrong. I was proud. I did not stop him. The Shrine Restoration Initiative is to blame for the death of Temsu, Radaki, and the others as much as I am. I will not accept their judgment, but I must be punished for what I did to my own child. It will be difficult to face the initiative, but your words hold much truth. This cannot be allowed to happen again. I am not the only one who bears responsibility. I will make them see this. Your service has come to an end, outsider. Your efforts are appreciated. We would do well to be more accepting of your kind. As long as we turn our backs on the unknown, the unfamiliar, we will be met with sorrow. You have our sincere thanks. As to our ongoing Zerka problem, our researchers have some information on the device you recovered. They confirm the purpose of the device, to locate objects touched by the Force. Perhaps this explains why you sensed something strange about it. Why would an arms dealer like Zerka hire mercenaries to find these items? Why risk war for a remote chance of finding something they cannot use? Once we became aware of what the device can do, we feared what Zerka might find in the depths of the Shrine of Contemplation. You should begin your search for the invaders there. Stop Zerka, and bring anything you find back to us. Do this for us, and your audience with the three will be secured.
You do good work. How you handled my incompetent colleagues back there. Beautiful. It will save me a lot of paperwork when I report back to Zerka. Oh, I knew this would get uncomfortable. I mean, we are professionals with opposing objectives. So let's get right to business, shall we? The Voss keeps all kinds of dangerous objects lying around. That's why we're both here, yes? We know some would make powerful weapons. In the right hands. The Gormak understand this. I do have to hand it to them. Their ways with technology are impressive. Second only to Zerka. They could turn the right artifact into a new balance of power. Temper! Surely you want to know the importance of what you've stumbled upon. What you have there is the prize. It's a record of the Jedi's influence on the ancient Voss. Normally I don't need an armed escort to retrieve historical documents, but in the right hands, this one could severely undermine the truce. We get the Voss and Gormak fighting again. This world is open to Zerka operations, weapon sales. Oh, the possibilities are endless. It was easy. Everything is. When you know the right people. Now, I do need to be on my way. So I'm going to hand this chat over to my good friends here. It's been a pleasure. Take a breath. Where have you been? Nico, why that why Chakaran? Come on, me, why hey, Triole? Come, Nico, why bam, Louis Chotai Fai, I am Gorson, nay, Lam Sayo. Nay, so fun, dear, go Nada Neva, eh, Akanan Nimatan. I come ni bao li ching tong doro nao. Ne so fun de ko na da neva e ak na na ni matan. Pua vaska ban ki na gung ham trong wang lao da chao trok sha. Ne so fun de ko na da neva e ak na na ni matan. กูมีกูไหวบ้างลุยจดไอ้ไฟไล่อังกอร์สุนในลามเซลแต่ฝ่ายฟุตดากันอักนั่นจอกตอนใจเวเบกอร์เนสฟุนเนสฟุนเดีย
It is time. The three have asked you to appear before them. I will not judge your decisions, but you cannot expect them to understand what you have done. Be prepared to face their displeasure. They are waiting for you now. I'm getting the sense that the three aren't happy with you. It is not that. There are... unresolved questions. What are you talking about? When the Eternal Empire threatened the galaxy, my presence in your alliance was understandable. But much has changed. The Outsiders' wars no longer concern Voss. We have our own struggles. The three want to know why I do not return and continue my duties as a mystic. After I joined the Alliance, I no longer had access to interpreters who could derive meaning from my visions for the first time. My actions were determined by my own decisions, and a Voss who chooses to remain with outsiders is a Voss who is forever looked upon with doubt. I had no idea you chose us over your own people. That must have been difficult. But I'm glad you stayed. It was a simple choice. You have given me the opportunity to lead. To help others face uncertainty. That is a greater purpose than I ever found as a mystic. I've kept you too long. The three will be wondering what has delayed you. Outsider, do you understand the importance of this meeting? This isn't my first audience with the three. I met with your predecessors without incident. I think this will go just as well. Everything you have done prior to this gathering leads us to believe otherwise. If we thought it could remedy our troubling circumstances, we would have had you removed from Voss. But we hope that after hearing what we have to say, you may consider your actions more carefully. There has been a vision. Its contents are disturbing. Life will be reshaped. Scales unbalanced. A wave of change rises and falls beyond the reach of Darth Malgus. And as he dreams, he awakens a great power. One that will tear the galaxy apart. If you know all that, you must know a way to help me stop Malgus. It is not so simple. Should Darth Malgus perish, this catastrophe will transpire more quickly. Haven't your people had other visions of disasters? What makes this one so different? You are familiar with the visions experienced by our mystics. The role these prophecies play? What your mystics see is very important to your people. Your government, your societal rules, everything relies on these visions. And from these revelations, the interpreters show us the path. The decisions we must make to preserve our home, our way of life. But in this vision, we see no outcome. There is nothing to guide us. 
The interpreters are united in its meaning. The three. The Voss. We can do nothing. We are powerless. This shrouded prophecy will come to pass. The foundations will be shaken. The pillars raised. The chaos is unavoidable. But whatever is to come from this, it is you who will choose the fate of us all. Our destiny is in the hands of an outsider. Do you see why we shield our people from this? You shouldn't lie to them about this. Your people are capable of protecting themselves, but if they don't know about this vision, they won't be able to. Your counsel is not wanted or needed, outsider. You have your own troubles to face. Whatever part you play in this, enemy or ally, none of it will happen without you. You must be ready. We will be waiting.